Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, uh, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and our online trades. The link is down below. So first, we'll start by looking at the uh, S&P 500. And as you can see, we are down 0.26% in the S&P 500. So we're pulling back a little bit, but these are basically buying opportunities at this point. We were quite overstretched and therefore we are pulling a little bit back. So I'm guessing that we are going to find major support here at the 20 exponential as we have found uh, several times in the past. It looks like we are basically starting our new bull run where we'll just bounce off the 20 exponential uh, for the foreseeable future and in between we are going to see these major uh, pullbacks but they are probably not going to be as frequent as they have been uh, recently so we have had made uh, actually four of them since this major crash here so we have here 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 and here and um, that will happen and uh, usually you will see that uh, when the RSI is just uh, astronomically high when you get up to 90 in the RSI in the um, in the um, in the in the weekly and the daily chart and so on but we're not there we're not even close to there we are at 55 in the in the RSI quite a little bit surprised that we are actually seeing that this pullback I would expect us to rally a little bit further so 4000 is basically the target at this point uh, it, that is most likely going to happen uh, within a month or a month and a half so but pullbacks like these are basically buying opportunities so we get down towards the 20 exponential that's at 3683 that is probably as far as this market will go technical indicators are uh, looking uh, well they are mixed at this point we're still above the uh, zero here in the macd but we're underneath the signal line so that is fairly bearish rsi has become bearish cci is uh, is above 100 and uh, it's basically going down so it's it's becoming bearish stochastic is very bullish but as you can see here in the bullish band we're just a little bit stretched so we had this gap yesterday and then rallied and then rallied yet again and then we broke down every single time we basically get um, outside of the bullish band it is basically a warning that we are about to pull back but we will most like just pull back towards this line here which is the 20 moving average and then we'll rally again so let's look at the, the dow jones same thing here and well basically exactly the same thing we're trading at 30,300. the 20 exponential is basically the bottom of this market and that's exactly roughly 30,032. And if you look at technical indicators here, we can see here in the Bollinger Band, we rallied yesterday and then rallied yet again today. And now we're breaking down all the way towards the 20 moving average, which is roughly at 30,000. There's a lot of uh, people will jump in to buy that. There hasn't been that enormous amount of movement in the, in the Dow Jones. We're technically just been trading sideways for um, basically since the, the beginning of November. But it is slightly tilting upwards and that means that we are just going to go higher higher and this is looking more like a healthy market compared to these massive moves to the downside and upside so these are more predictable and uh, actually more trade more tradable other technical indicators are fairly mixed macd is bearish the cci is bearish the rsi is bearish the cci is becoming bearish and the stochastic is basically bullish at this point so the closer that we get to the 20 exponential, the basically the better the buying opportunity. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is also very stretched. We can see here we are outside of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, we are just going to pull back towards the 20 moving average, which is roughly 12,612. There you'll see enormous amount of buying coming in. And, um, and then we'll just rally higher from that. So a pullback of roughly 200 points, that is fairly likely at this point, and then rally up towards 30, uh, 13,000. 
If you look at technical indicators, we are still a little bit of room to the upside. We're at 59. Um, MACD is basically flat, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. But we are overstretched, and usually you pull back towards the 20, and then we rally again. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw we saw buyers coming in roughly around this area here, which is uh, 12,751. But I'm no interest in basically selling this. Pullbacks are basically buying opportunities. That is how this market, that's how you basically earn, mar earn money in this market. You see these pullbacks here, buy, pullbacks, buy, and so on and so on. So let's look at the tech stocks. You can see that it is very mixed. Some of them are doing well, some of them do are doing horribly. Uh, Intel Cover here is doing really well. It's up to 5% at this point. And Netflix is also doing really well. It's up more than 2% at this point. So Apple, this is not, um, not um, it was completely expected for Apple to basically pull back here. It was way overstretched. You can just see yesterday that we are outside of the Bollinger Band. We're almost still outside of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, we are just going to pull back towards the 20 moving average. That's roughly at 127, and that's uh, almost 5.5%. Apple's most likely going to pull back. And of course, this will also affect the NASDAQ, and therefore, and the S&P 500, and therefore, they will also pull back because they're, these are enormous. This is basically the world's biggest company, and, and if it falls, it will affect the indices most likely. If you look at the other technical indicators, RSI is becoming um, becoming bearish. The CCI is turning around here. It's, it's still bullish, but it's becoming bearish. The stochastic is showing signs of basically weakness here, and it will cross the signal line, and then it will go down and uh, also become bearish. Well, the MACD is still very bullish. No interest still of selling. I never basically sell uh, Apple stock. So uh, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that's what I'm waiting for. So that's a pullback of roughly 5.8%, uh, uh, and there's your, basically your buying opportunity. So let's look at Amazon. Finally, this stock has basically, <laughs> um, it has basically been doing nothing for a really long time, and now it has rallied yesterday and today. So we're up in two days at 5.1%. Roughly, we're trading at 3,333, a lot of trees here. Um, and at this point, we may go a little bit higher, but we're getting overstretched. You can see here in the Bollinger Band, we're basically way outside of the Bollinger Band. It would probably be a good idea to basically start shorting this at this point, because when you're this far outside of the Bollinger Band, uh, it is just a warning that you are going to uh, see people coming in and short. You can just see here, the last time we uh, saw a similar uh, price action, we just got uh, we got shorted all the way down to this level, this level, roughly 15.5%. So be aware if you're buying at this level that it will most likely be short. Shorted. Um, if you look at techni other in te technical indicators, they are all looking very bullish. MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and also such sarcastic. So we may go a little bit higher, even though this is a massive warning sign of beware of buying at this level. So let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft has had a really nice rally from the bottom here to the top, roughly 8.6%. And now we're having a pullback. It was on the edge of being overbought, and uh, therefore we basically need a pullback towards the 20 moving average. We're also been outside here in the Bollinger Band, so that's an another warning. Technical indicators are some of them are bullish, some of them are just flat, for example. Uh, MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and the CCI and the RSI are flat at this point. So pull back towards the 20, that's roughly 219. That's your buying opportunity for this stock. So we look at Facebook. Facebook has had a really nice rally. We've stayed here for uh, at the bottom for quite a long time. I was getting nervous that we were going to break towards the 20, 150 moving average, but it didn't. Um, 264 is basically the bottom of this market. We're trading above the 50 moving average at this point, and we are going to target the 291 at, at, at this point. So a rally from, from roughly the bottom here to 292, that's a trade of roughly a 10% profit. So that's what we're targeting. 
if you look at the technical indicators, they are looking more and more bullish. Stochastic and uh, MACD is basically crossing the signal line here. We're just at the edge of, of zero. So when we basically cross zero, it's going to be, it's really going to take off. So RSI is becoming, it's uh, also bullish. The CCI is bullish. The stochastic is extremely bullish. And you can see here in the Bollinger Band, when we get to the top here of the Bollinger Band, that's roughly uh, 288, you'll start seeing sellers come in and this will basically start going back down towards the 50 moving average. So we've been buying this uh, down here at the 264 and the target, at least in the beginning, is going to be roughly 292. So let's look at Tesla. Tesla has pulled back a little bit today. Um, I'm, we're just probably just going to see more of the same. So pullbacks towards a 20 uh, exponential rally, pullback rally, and so on. So it is fairly predictable at this point. If you look at the technical indicators, they're a little bit um, mixed. Uh, MACD is crossing the signal line, so it's looking bearish. The RSI is bearish, the CCI has become bearish, while the stochastic is bullish. And the Bollinger Band, we're basically in the middle of nowhere here. So pullbacks towards the 20, that's your basically your entry point and uh, stop loss underneath, and the target of roughly 700 and, yeah, roughly 700. So let's look at Google. Google has pulled back as was expected. We got rid of most of the, uh, of the Google stock yesterday because we were running into uh, major resistance in, uh, if you look at the lower uh, time frames, for example, in the four hour chart, you can basically see that we we're running into major resistance and that we're gonna have a pullback and therefore we started selling here. So we started also buying at this point. So it was quite a, a nice trade. And uh, when this starts to turn around again, which probably is tomorrow, we'll start buying into this again. We're still really, really low here. So 36 in the RSI is very low. We're right um, above zero here in the MACD. So we're still in bullish territory and we're going to cross the signal line. So this is going to take off to the upside. We haven't had, we have had a pullback today of roughly, uh, well, nearly 1%, but the target here is 18 30, 48. That is basically the target of this market. This is basically the very highest here. So roughly, roughly 4.8% um, rally is expected for uh, Google stock in the next few trading days. So let's look at Netflix. Netflix has rallied to these previous highs and then it has pulled back. Um, if we manage to break this, then we're going to these previous highs here. So it's going to be interesting to see. It actually, there is a, a room uh, for a trade like this. So this is 6.5%. Uh, the RSI is only at 58. Stag other technical indicators are turning around, but we basically hit the top of the Bollinger Band here and therefore we basically pull back. It's basically the previous highs here. So if we pull back towards the 20 exponential, then it's a very good buying opportunity. Buying in at this point is basically a gamble because we could turn around towards the 50 and the 150 moving average at this point. That is plausible. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.